heard about the fellow that's dissatisfied with life. I'm the man that wakes from peaceful slumber just to quarrel with his wife. I'm the man. No doubt you think those midnight scraps are useless and absurd. Of course, there's a reason, though perhaps you've never heard. In daytime, there's one married man who dare not say a word. I'm the man. I'm the man. The very self-same man. Those little arguments at home I really cannot stand. When wifey swears that black is red, then grabs a slap from neath the bed and breaks it over some guy's head. I'm the man. Good evening and Merry Christmas Eve, all my oatmeal heads out there. Um, we got some smooth jazz playing. Uh, getting in the Christmas mood. Today we got we got a Christmas video. I'm wearing my Christmas hat, so this is this is a Christmas video. And um, I guess today I'm going to take another fan suggestion. So we're all in a jolly holly mood. I got my Christmas tie as well. And I got some Christmas biscuits here. So come have a biscuit with me and we will we'll get into our Christmas special. Um, so I got a, a fan request to uh, look at and uh, I don't know about review, but we're going to be looking at some um, Some cryptids so you wanted to see a video about cryptids uh, We all know cryptids. They're pretty spooky. It's a bit Halloweeny, but uh, I'm sneaking into my Christmas video because Because we're fucking looking at Christmas cryptids this time Christmas cryptids so Let's look at some Christmas cryptids, guys. Um, got my little um, Christmas music playing in the background, I think. What's everyone searching these days? Samsung Galaxy S2 20... Fucking dogs. Motorbike crash. Oh, we don't want to see that. We want to see Christmas... Cryptids. Thank you very much. Um, images. Everyone loves images. It helps you find the cryptids. So we got some cryptids here, up here. Let's try this website here. The Monsters of Christmas. Woo! Many of the ancient pagan pagans Observan observances observances I know how to read during winter mid -win during midwinter have been transformed or forgotten by our modern society that's true uh, transformography uh, happens between societies that's a thing I don't really care about the, the backstory here guys I just want to see the Christmas cryptids so here's our first cry cryptid that's Krampus. Kr Kr Krampus, yeah. That's Krampus. So that's what he looks like there, guys. He's got a couple of little girls by the, the, the pigtails holding him up there. He's a pretty bad dude. Um, they must have been naughty. Is he mean to naughty kids? I'm not sure. If he was a bad dude, he'd be mean to good kids. If he wants to be anti-Santa. What do you got to say about Krampus? Santa's European counterpart and earliest incarnation. Saint Nicholas brings something other than just presents to your house. Oh shit, this this reads like the back of a, a horror DVD. He brings along a demonic sidekick, Krampus. So he's a sidekick, that's pretty interesting. While the good children get gifts from Saint Nicholas, Krampus is given leave to mercilessly 
beat the naughty ones. Holy shit, this is, this is again to be aggressive here, you guys. This is kind of like, um, this is very Christian. This is, this is your, your, your Jesus and your, your Satan. Santa and Krampus. The cryptid. He's definitely a cryptid. This, that's what a cryptid is. Um, so he also shoves them into his sack and then carries them promptly to hell. So this Grampus is pretty spooky for a Christmas demon. Um, he's pretty uh, demonic. Did you know? Look at him. Demon. He's got a long demon tongue and that is, that is suggestive. I don't like it. Next. Mari Luid. Mari Luid, the Christmas zombie horse. Christmas zombie horse. Uh, so that's him there. Maybe I can get a. So that's him. That's him in all his glory. Him or her. I'm not sure. This. M I know this word. It reads like something else, doesn't it? Macabre, be macabre. That that's not a word. I know it's a word. Hang on, guys. Macabre. Huh? Macabre. Macabre. That's not how it's said. Okay, fair enough. This macabre skeleton mare. Skeleton mare. It's a skeleton mare. So it's both. Uh, I guess we're getting a front-on view here of this horse. Um, so it's from the Welsh tradition. That's why it's got a stupid name. Uh, rises from the dead and wanders the streets with her attendants, who are also fresh from the grave. Oh, I want to know about these attendants. To remind the living of their existence. That's pretty nice of them. Her last name's Lude. Mir Mary? Oh, it's Mary with an I or a Y? I don't know. They're getting their facts mixed up here. Mary Lude is only one goal, has only one goal in mind to get you into your house. Creepy. That's a creepy horse. To keep the zombie horse out, you must engage in a battle of wits. Oof, this is intense. In rhyme, no less. Usually on the New Year's Eve, when the undead mare is represented by a puppeteer parading a horse skull and a pole draped in a white cloth. That's very interesting, good to know. Le Befana and Babushka. Here we got some cryptids here. We got a Babushka cryptid. I think this is from Russia, yeah. In Italy, Russia, and parts of Europe. So we got multiple countries here. This is a multiple country spanning cryptid, which means it's real. Usually uh, cultures don't share um, like uh, folklore and stuff, so if it's multiple countries, you know it's happening for reals. So here we go. In Italy, Russia, and parts of Europe, we encounter a witch-like lady rooted in the fairy tale figure of Mother Holly. Fuck Mother Holly. I don't know who that is, but it sounds spooky. Who doles out punishments for the lazy. That's rude. Let people be lazy. Come on. And riches for the hardworking. This is a fucking bitch. Fuck this bitch. Um... Fuck this bitch. In Italy, she is known as La Bufana, and in Russia, Babushka. Babushka. Don't care. Oh, we don't have a picture for this one, I don't think. A bit of a mysterious one. I don't think anyone's seen what it looks like. On New Year's Eve, Percha roams the earth rewarding those who are hard-working and generous nice and punishing why do they always got to punish what's with the punishing what's going on here guys why is everyone gonna get punished the idol who's punishing the idol come on dude someone's fucking loitering around and you gotta fucking punish them You're like the cops fuck you guys the greedy i guess great no you don't need to punish the greedy either there's not punishing people um uh, Slashing open your stomach so she may violently rip out your intestines, which are then replaced by straw, rocks, and garbage. 
This is for being idle. Fuck, dude. That's crazy. I guess greedy as well. Idle and greedy. Standing around wanting things. Yeah. The tradition of having goose for Christmas is sometimes linked to witches. Fuck, dude. Don't have goose. If you're having goose for Christmas, you're eating witchcraft. This is witchcraft. Don't have goose. Not for Christmas, guys. Put the put the put the goose down. What's this? Strag strag. I'd say straggle, but stragel stragel stra straggle. In many places, places such as Switzerland. Oh, what, it's more. Oh, that's the picture of per the, what? I don't understand. Must be the a different name for the same thing. Who knows? Uh, oh no, she's got helpers. This one here, it's, they don't have a picture of because you can't show a picture of her. In many places such as Switzerland, Percha rides with a throng. A throng's a big, big amount, guys. Demonic looking helpers known as Straggle. These guys. Who love to partake of the feast offerings left for them on Christmas by hoping for Percha's blessings of wealth and health in the new year. That's nice. In some places, Straggle get to dole out the punishments themselves and aren't terribly discerning as they rob all bad children and tear them to pieces in the air. That's pretty bad. Um, pretty, pretty spooky. Uh, so be good, children. Uh, you want to get good presents like Legos and stuff? You got to be good. Otherwise, you get your fucking gut cut open and your your insides replaced with straw and rocks uh, so watch out guys the toe tom ten I like these guys they look like gnomes a creature from Scandinavian folklore who bears a resemblance to a gnome that's true I thought it was a gnome and lives among the dead inside burial mounds a little bit of an interesting twist on the gnome thing the Tom Ten acts as a caretaker, protector, and helper of the household. That is, if you don't anger him. Oh, you don't want to anger this guy. If he gets angry, he'll fucking scold you good. The Tom Ten has quite a temper and is known for driving people insane with his tricks or biting them. He'll fucking bite your ankles, dude. And he'll drive you insane by just constantly biting your ankles. So fucking watch out for this guy. Don't make him angry. How do you make him angry? The bite's being poisonous. Oh shit, fuck, that's a poisonous bite. Uh, typically lead to death. You would be well advised to leave a gift or food out for Christmas Eve for this fellow. Yep, I'm going to do that this year. We're going to leave some of these biscuits out for him. So he doesn't bite me with his poisonous bullshit and kill me. Bell Snickle. Bell Snickle. They've all got beards. What's with these beady, beady, beady cryptids? I ain't seen no beady cryptid before. And I've seen a lot of cryptids in my time. In some German and Pennsylvania Dutch communities, Bell Schnickel is shown up a couple of weeks before Christmas, filthy and dressed in rags and furs, to beat the children. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why are they all be beating children? This is fucked. Beat the children who has misbehaved. So, so these fucking children who misbehave are just getting beaten left, right, and center. Having their guts ripped out and replaced with hay. And beaten by this guy first, probably. He's got a little whip there. He's pretty menacing. I don't like this guy. He needs to chill out. There's enough people beating children on Christmas. Another one without a picture. Might skip that one. Griella. This one has a picture and looks like they're beating children again and eating their legs which, and they have a backpack full of children. So this is, this is another uh, spooky, I didn't know cryptids were so mean and spooky, but um, this one's renowned. So this one's from Iceland, uh, it's one of the most renowned figures associated with Christmas. Uh, Grilla is a giant troll, so we got a troll here guys, our first troll of the night. Um, trolls are cryptids, so you always got to watch out for trolls. 
uh, is a giant troll who is in perpetual bad mood due to an insatiable hunger for children. Um, I don't, oh. So she eats children specifically. I guess she's uh, a bit particular in that in that regard. Um, but she doesn't get it. She obviously doesn't have a very good supply of children, even though she's got a backpack full of them, because um, her hunger for them is insatiable. Each Christmas, Griella comes down from her mountain dwelling to hunt for naughty children. She only goes for naughty children, which is an interesting um, moral addition to her eating children. Um, so she's very selective in that's probably why she's got that insatiable hunger because she's only looking for for naughty children um, that's not defined that's just naughty um, uh, up to her discretion I suppose she places them in a sack and drags them back to her cave where she boils them alive for her favorite stew Boils them alive for her favorite stew. So, this guy's gonna get boiled alive. Fuck, dude. Didn't know Christmas was so violent. Cryptids, man. Oh. Comma. And she has 13 sons. That's a nice addition. The Yule Lads. Okay, so let's get a look at the Yule Lads. We'll see what her sons are like. They look like they're all... <laughs> it's the gnomes. It's the seven dwarves. Shit, son. The 13 sons of Griella, the Yule Lads, are each known for a particular habit or characteristic. Much like Disney's version of Snow White's Seven Dwarves, I was about to say. Most of them... Maybe that... Oh, is that where it came from? Hmm. What country does this come from? Iceland. Interesting. Sheep coat clog, a peg legged sheep fancier. What's a sheep fancier? I don't like the sounds of that. Not on Christmas, I say. Gully hawk, who hides out in ditches or gullies and waits for an opportune moment to run into the cow shed and lick the foam off the milk in the milking buckets. Stubby, whose name denotes his stature and is unusually short. Spoon licker, a licker and thief of spoons. Fucking rascal. Pot scraper, who is a petty thief of leftovers. He'll scrape your pots, dude. Don't, you better eat your, your whole dinner, otherwise fucking the pot scrape will scrape your pot. And if... <laughs> and when he's done with your fucking leftovers, the fucking bowl liquor, who hides under your bed and waits for you to absentmindedly put down your bowl so he can steal and, yes, lick it, he'll fucking finish the job. And the door slam... <laughs> Fuck these guys are fucking lame. Who slams doors all night. Ooh, fuck. That's spooky. Did you get a load of these guys? Here we got the door slammer right here. There's the, 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 the pot liquor. Ooh, we got a candle guy here. Pretty menacing. What else have we got? Um, Skya is yogurt. So yogurt gobbler. Some guy will eat your yogurt. And a sausage swiper. So that's the one you got to watch out for the most. Where's he? There he is, the sausage swiper. He'll swipe your sausages, so just watch out. Um, keep a firm grip of your sausages throughout the night during Christmas. Otherwise, he might swipe them. The Yule Cat. Pretty spooky. Let's move, let's read about it. The pet of both Griella and the Yule Lads. Okay, so we got a little... Uh, uh, universe happening here, a little Marvel universe. The Yule Cat is prey consists of both children and adults. Ooh, so this one's a bit different. It branches out to adults. 
Unlike other Christmas monsters, this cat does not care about your misdeeds during the year. So this is just a, a cat that says, fuck it, I'm just going to fuck you up. So it's just a big cat, basically. Is that it? I guess that's all of them. So that was pretty interesting. How long did that go for? 20 minutes? That's a nice little Christmas video for you guys. Um, so there's your cryptids. They're pretty, pretty menacing, pretty spooky, so watch out. Uh, don't be a naughty child, otherwise you'll fucking be maimed to death by a demon. Uh, yes. So this is Christmas Eve. This was the countdown to Christmas, so... Christmas! Christmas! So, uh, have a good Christmas, guys. I'll be right back with another Christmas video. This is a Christmas special, and I'm your Captain Oates. So, thanks for watching, guys. S -s -s cryptid Christmas. Crypt, 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 cryptid Christmas. Christmas cryptids.